AFib is becoming an epidemic. To the point, 10 million Americans are expected to have atrial fibrillation by 2030. AFib is an irregular and rapid heart rhythm. So my biggest disappointment when it comes to taking medication for AFib is that sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So I woke up one Saturday excited about taking my bike ride. I usually ride my bike every weekend. I cycle for about 15 to 20 miles. So I took my AFib meds an hour before I get to the bike path. I get to the bike path, I'm super excited, about to knock out 20 miles, and five miles into my ride, my heart rate shoots up to 200 beats per minute. Now, I didn't realize it at first, but I noticed that I was sweating a lot, and my heart, my chest started to get a little tight, so I pulled over. And when I pulled over, I said, you know what? I should be good five minutes and I'll be back on the track. But unfortunately, after five minutes or so, my heart rate was still around 200 beats per minute. So as I'm sitting there on the bench, my face is sweaty, my chest is pounding like crazy. Uh, fear starts to set in. The fear of that I might have to go to the emergency ward, the fear that I might not make it back to my truck again, I mentioned I already rode five miles away from my truck. And so for me, uh, that was a real moment, which I realized that even taking medication for AFib, um, in certain people, and in some cases, it may or may not work. I did more research and I found out that the meds that they have available today only works about 50 to 60% of the time. So luckily for me, after about 20 minutes or so, uh, my heart rate started to come down a bit, and I was able to get back on my bike and make it back to my truck. So there's three tips I want to share with anyone that is active and maybe in the middle of a workout when it comes to AFib. There's three things. Number one, trust your wearable device. Uh, you're going to hear some, some internet stuff about some of the devices are not accurate, right? Or actually some of these devices are creating more anxiety for people, but... At the end of the day, I feel more comfortable at least having something that notifies me when my heart rate is consistently racing. The second thing that you want to do is take deep breaths. Uh, that's very important just because a lot of times if you're having an event, uh, depending if you develop anxiety or just even a panic attack, you know, that will add to what's already happening to your heart. So relax, take deep breaths. I'll take anywhere from 10 to 15 long deep breaths and just relax so the third and the last step i want to share with you is just play it safe shut the workout down that way uh you don't hurt yourself uh you don't pass out uh, or you seriously injure yourself so if this information was helpful feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new um it'll help youtube spread the word out bring awareness about afib especially for anyone over 40. so i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care of yourself have a good one